What's up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. And in today's video, yes, today's video, we're gonna be comparing a rattle trap versus a lipless crankbait. Now this rattle trap is a specific, it's the rattle, the rattle trap, it's, that's the brand. Uh, and the lipless crankbait I'm using is going to be a H2O Express brand, which is, if you guys don't know, it's the Academy brand. Uh, also, if you don't know, I am a huge, huge advocate of both Academy, uh, lipless crankbaits and their square bill crankbaits. So uh, they're very, very cheap. I've actually done videos on them in the past. I'll link that video uh, up here or, or down here. One of the two. You guys will be able to check that out. Uh, one quick thing before we get started, guys. Go ahead and hit this little red right here. It's like down right down right that, where that arrow is pointing right there. It's the little red subscribe button if you're new here to the channel. Uh, and also, after you hit that, turn the little bell on, the little notification bell. It'll send you push notes, push notifications on your phone whenever I upload a video, which is very, very very consistent very frequently uh you guys don't want to miss an upload promise you that got tons of tons tons of good stuff coming out lots of huge collaborations uh i actually live in south florida now so i plan on collabing with a lot more people that are down here in this area so with that being said let's get started all right guys so first up we're going to be doing the rattle trap uh what we're going to be comparing mostly in this video is uh, different types of retrieves i'm going to show you guys how i like to retrieve both rattle traps and lipless cranks uh, and the biggest thing we're going to be comparing is the, the, the actual rattles itself, the noise these make and the actions on them. We're going to see how tight or how loose they wobble, kind of to get a better feel for what we're working with when we're actually using these in, in water that we can't really see them in. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how, how I like to uh, retrieve the rattle trap. This is the, the first way that I like to retrieve. So you let it sink, you give it one pop, and you just kind of rod tip down and you reel. Now this right here has got pretty tight action on it. Uh, this rattle trap actually is what I caught my uh, personal best smallmouth on. And uh, it was a six pound smallmouth. I'll go ahead and look, like, just check this fish out. It's literally like, look literally, at this little video right here. I mean, the thing is absolutely is, just, I don't even know what it was a freaking monster. Absolutely. Freak of nature. All right. So the, the next way that I like to retrieve rattle traps is the yo-yo method. So I actually pop it, let it sink pop it let it sink and I can actually hear that from here and I'm probably 15 feet away from it and it's six feet under the water so you know this thing is loud so just basically a yo-yo you reel the slack let it sink rod tip up that's all I'm doing right here Let's see if I can get that again oh. See the erratic action on this? So what it's doing is it's, it's instead of just kind of staying in a straight line, it's kind of bouncing all over the place as you're yo-yoing it. And uh, I've actually caught more fish yo-yoing rattle traps and lipless crankbaits uh, and bigger fish rather than just swimming them back. But uh, I mean, both ways work. All right, one more yo-yo. Now the very last way that I like to uh, retrieve lipless cranks is a combination of both. All right, so what I'll do, cast it out, let it sink, and I'll start my retrieve with a yo-yo. I'll reel and pause, reel, pause, and then I'll throw some yo-yos in there, you know, depending on how far I cast. Usually the farther I cast, the more, obviously the more I'm able to do something like that. So, you know, reel, pause, reel, pause, yo-yo, kind of just to, to get the most action out of it, the most erratic action. and. Um, you know, just change it up completely, the retrieve, just throw everything I can at these fish at one time. And uh, it, it definitely absolutely works. So uh, with those retrieves and all that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and compare the Academy brand lipless crankbait to this rattle trap. Let's check it out. All right, so just so you guys kind of know, both the lipless crankbait and the uh, rattle trap, both of them are 5 eighths of an ounce. And that's kind of the size that I prefer to throw. Uh, this is usually what I throw lipless crankbaits on. This is a Shimano Scorpion DC. This is 10 pound fluorocarbon line, and this is a 7.4 uh, medium heavy, moderate action, favorite big sexy. Uh, like I said, let's compare the actions on the same exact retrieves, and let's overall, let's compare what attracts the fish the most, and that's those rattles. So let's check it out. Oh. So we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're just gonna let it sink. And we're gonna reel this one. All right, the action looks a little bit more loose and uh, in the tail section of this. And by loose, 
what I mean is there's a little bit more action. It kind of wobbles just a little bit more. All right, so I'm gonna reel that again. All right, let's check this out. Let's check out, we're gonna do the uh, the yo-yo retrieve. Let it sink. Yo-yo it up. So this honestly looks a little bit more like a dead fish rather than the, the, the rattle trap did. So, so we may have, we may be on to something. All right, we're gonna yo-yo it one more time. Okay, so one thing that I'm noticing, both both casts through the yo-yo, this uh, the line got stuck on the hooks. So that's not that's not not what you're looking for. It's not a good thing. It's a it's a good way to break off too, on uh, potentially your personal best or you know if not a really big fish. Let's try yo-yo again. There we go. All right, all right. We'll give it one more try. Try not to get stuck on uh, stuck on the line. Let it sink down. Give it that yo-yo. It's literally all I'm doing is just picking up, reeling, picking up, reeling. Yeah. All right, so it got stuck again. So three out of four casts, this got stuck with the yo-yo retrieve on uh, on the hook the line did. And I'm not too impressed with that, but the overall just, you know, standard basic reel and retrieve, uh, that's, that's phenomenal with these baits. So this is absolutely my favorite lipless or rattle trap type retrieve. Uh, this is a combination of all three. This is the, uh, you cast it out, you let it sink, you yo-yo it, real pause, yo-yo, real pause, yo-yo. Let's check out and see what that looks like. All right, let it sink, yo-yo, real. Stop, yo-yo. Oh, we got stuck. Ah, see, I don't know, guys, I don't know. This is not, this is not too impressive as of right now. The uh, the line keeps getting stuck on the on the hooks, and I <coughs> I don't I don't like that at all. That's not a it's not a good thing. I don't know if it's just this ten pound line, or, or I don't know if it's I, don't, I honestly don't know what's causing that. It's it's kind of concerning. All right, all right. Let's give it one more cast. See what it looks like. You guys can let me know down in the comments what what bait you think is better. What bait you think won? Yeah, see, I don't know guys, it got stuck on the line again, or the line got stuck on the hooks again. I don't know how I feel about that. What's up guys, long time no see. Yeah, that was uh, the video you just watched was from uh, June 20 something ish, ish, something. Anyways, check it out. This is the new, the new house. Uh, yep, South Florida now, this is our house, bought this house. And uh, guys, I apologize for the, the extreme inactivity. I've been really busy, got a lot of stuff going on. Just just know, videos are coming, I promise you guys. Uh, this video right here, got another one. I went fishing on the pier, that one's coming. Kinda trying to figure that one out though, cause uh, the audio on my GoPro is messed up. But I figured that issue out. So GoPro, once again, kinda like let me down and I figured out a way to, to get back up there. But thanks again for watching guys, sincerely. Uh, I really appreciate it. Go ahead and hit the red subscribe button. Uh, and turn those little that little bell hit that little bell turn notifications on because uh, the uploads are going to start picking up again uh man all the support you guys have shown mm. love you guys we'll catch y'all next time